Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this week's Pass the PE Exam video, I want to answer a question from one of our listeners that asked whether or not he needs to choose a specialty for the civil PE exam. Let's jump right into it. To answer his question, yes, you are indeed required to choose between one of the five depth exams to take. The PE civil exam is broken up into two sections, the breadth and the depth. The breadth portion is held in the morning and is the same for every examinee, and the depth portion is held in the afternoon and is structured around areas of specialty, one of which each examinee must select. The five depth options are construction, geotechnical, structural, transportation, and water resources and environmental. If you are struggling to decide which depth section to sign up for, consider looking at the passing rates, potential job responsibilities, and average salaries for each of the five depth options to help you with your decision. Let's take a closer look at the five depth exam options. Number one, construction. For the June 2021 exam, the pass rates for the construction depth exam were 53% for first-time takers and 26% for repeat takers. Duties for professionals in this discipline include residential and commercial site planning and designing and managing infrastructure. The average annual pay for a civil engineer in this discipline is approximately $91,370. US Number two, geotechnical. For the June 2021 exam, the pass rates for the geotechnical depth exam were 66% for first-time takers and 48% for repeat takers. Duties for geotechnical engineers include monitoring worksite conditions, foundation design, and other earthwork-related responsibilities. The average annual pay for a geotechnical engineer is approximately $94,240. US Number three, structural. For the June 2021 exam, the pass rates for the structural depth exam were 56% for first-time takers and 35% for repeat takers. Duties for structural engineers could include designing and managing buildings or bridges, among many other structural engineering responsibilities. The average annual pay for a structural engineer is approximately $84,770. US Please note, that the PE Civil Structural Depth Exam is not the same exam as the SE exam. We'll do another video on that. Number four, transportation. For the June 2021 exam, the pass rates for the transportation depth exam were 70% for first-time takers and 51% for repeat takers. Duties for transportation engineers include planning urban transportation, designing roadways, and operating transportation facilities. The average annual pay for a transportation engineer is approximately $84,770. US Number five, water resources and environmental. For the June 2021 exam, the pass rates for the water resources and environmental depth section were 67% for first-time takers and 44% for repeat takers. Duties for an engineer in water resources or the environmental field could include designing and managing water equipment or implementing air pollution, radiation, or recycling control practices. The average annual pay for an engineer in water resources or environmental is approximately $86,800. US Information for the pass rates and average salaries in this video were taken from the NCWS and School of PE, which we will include links for below this video. Another great way to determine which depth you should take is to check out NCWS's PE civil exam specifications that we will also link to in the comments of this video. These exam specifications outline the topics that will be covered on each depth exam. Also, you could check out a video that we published called What's the Hardest PE Exam, where we talked through the difficulty level of each of these different PE depth exams. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments 
below this video and I will respond to you. And let me know if there's a topic that you'd like me to cover or maybe a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.